Hey, welcome back today for today's devotional. We're at Lamentations chapter 3, and we're at verses 40 to 42. Listen to the, this word. Let us search out and examine our ways and turn back to the Lord. Let us lift our hearts and hands to God in heaven. We have transgressed and rebelled. You have not pardoned. Now, that's kind of an interesting uh, section here because the last part should be, uh, we've rebelled, but now you've pardoned. Hey, hey, hooray, we're all done. But that's not the way it ends. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let us search out and examine our ways and turn back to the Lord. That's a call to self-examination. We're in an age where there's not very much self-examination. You know, you're just basically commanded, do this, stand on that dot, do that, uh, do this command, follow this command, do this thing you're being forced to do, and just say, yes, sir. But this says examine yourself. See what you're made out of. See where you are morally. Take, take an inventory, a spiritual inventory about who you are and about what you stand for. That's the first thing here. The second thing there was that it mentioned, let us turn back to God. Again, the universe is not morally neutral, as we said yesterday morning. We are called, if we've done evil, we are called to repent. And we've all done evil, so we're all called to repent. And so God wants us to return to him, and he's willing to empower us and open the way for us to return to him. So the next thing here is kind of talking about, let us be persistent in seeking God. We're living in an age when you know, the goldfish may have a, a longer attention span than some some of us or some of our neighbors. We need to learn how to persevere. We need to, when we return to God, we need to be persistent and determined to come back to him. Uh, we can't just flightily, you know, just superficially come to him and then uh, two and a half minutes later, we're off over here doing this immorality or having these immoral uh, pieces. God wants us to come to him and, and to come draw very close and to be persistent and definite in, in returning to him. He'll work in us, but we need to give him our attention. Do you remember how Pilate, Pilate asked Jesus in, in, in the gospel, he asked Jesus the, the ultimate question in all the scriptures. Pilate was the one guy that did it. He said, he said to Jesus himself, Jesus, who's the way, the truth, and the life? He said, what is truth? And then it says that uh, he didn't wait for the answer. The ultimate question, and he didn't wait for the answer. So just to summarize, what lesson we draw from this? Well, let us persist in self-examination. We need to persist morally in returning to him. The last part, we have transgressed and rebelled and you have not pardoned. I think there's a lesson there, which is God expects us to be kind of intense, to have an intensity, a spiritual intensity about our life. If we expect to be pardoned and to be transformed by the king of, all, of everything, we need to become pretty invested in that. He's not going to just to superficially forgive us and then expect us to just fall down and do ridiculous evil again. He wants to change our life. He wants to change your life and mine. So let's let him do it. And we'll get a re repentance that is supernatural. Anything else isn't going to do it, but a divine supernatural repentance. That can change me. That can give me a, a space to be right with God in heaven. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right we know that in ourselves, there's no good thing. There's no way we could ever uh, do good enough to come to you. Lord, help us to be totally submitted to you. Help us to do a moral searching and let you change us. And then, Lord, when you pardon us, pardon us fully. In other words, transform us as well. Help us to be more like Jesus. This is our prayer and our desire. In Jesus' name, we ask for it. Amen. Oh, that's what I want today. Isn't it what you want today? God be with you this day.